Hi guys! I'm really excited to share with you our last topic for this semester, which is Java methods. So let's get started. In understanding Java methods, first we need to define our classes. I know that we already or I let you experience already how to um, create our class. And also, I would like to emphasize that in, uh, in using a method, we need to define our classes. So in defining our classes or in defining a class, our class should contain first, um, should contain um, data declarations and also a method declarations. So when we say data declarations, um, it's either a static or an instant um, variables. And if we will talk about method declaration, by the way, these are the behaviors of our, um, these are the behaviors of our program or of our codes. So if you can see this illustration, uh, we have class name month. Our class name month includes two data declarations, which are um, int month and the int year. So if you can see that, those are the data declarations. And the three boxes here are actually intended for the method declarations. But it's really up to you on how methods are you trying to, um, on what type of methods are you trying to um, use or to create. Okay? So I will show you later on um, how, or I will share with you later on what are the types of methods. But for now, we need to understand first, what is a method? So by the way, a method, guys, it is a collection of statements that are grouped together to perform an, uh, to perform an operation. I have it a good example for that one. So basically, if you will call a system.out the println method, that's actually a method, guys. For example, um, the system actually executes several statements in order to display a message on the console. So that is the method that you use, which is system.out.println. Aside from explaining the first bullet, a method also, it helps us divide a complex problem into a smaller chunks of methods. I have another example. Um, suppose you need to create a program to, um, to create a circle and color it, okay? So basically, you can create two methods to solve this problem. First method, um, to draw the circle. Another method, it's to color the circle, right? So basically, um, it helps us divide a complex problem into a smaller chunks. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, sorry. So let's talk about the types of methods. So our types of methods, there are two. First, um, the first type, it's what we call user-defined methods. These are the methods that we can create on our own. We can create on our own depending on our requirements or depending on the attributes that we want this method to, to include or to be included. Okay? We also have the standard library methods just like what I, uh, just like what I shared earlier. Um, you can use the system that out the println method because that's actually a standard library method because those are built-in methods in Java. Aside from that, we also have square root, okay? So there's a lot, of, uh, there's a lot more of a li uh, library methods or the built-in methods in Java, and I will let you um, explore it or discover it. But for now, we will focus on the user-defined methods. Okay, so this is the way we can declare our method. First, we should have, of course, we should have our return type. Basically, our return type, uh, these, are our, um, uh, these are our data types, okay? So make sure that if you will use a return type or a data type int, 
your um, your parameter here it should be also in it's not allowed or there should be a consistency okay so it shouldn't be end here then the other one here it's flow okay and for the method name you can create your own okay you can create your own in the sense that um, you are not using any reserve word or keyword in java okay and we also have our parameter list here so we have two parameters um, parameter one which is the num one and the parameter two it's actually the num two okay so since we're already in the first type of our um, uh, first type of our method um, I will share with you how to declare a method using a user defined so actually this is actually the same just like what um, uh, what what you can see or what you saw in the previous slide uh, in user defined method again um, int should be the same here or all of the parameters here it should be int okay and we also have sum this is our method name and inside our um, inside the curly braces these are all the declarations sorry these are all the statements or the expressions that the sum contains or the behavior of your method sum okay we also need to discuss about the return statement um, the return statement by the way guys um, it is uh, the return type of a method indicates the type of value that the method sends back to the calling location so basically a method does not return a value um, if the return type is void the return type here we are using um, int there are also um, other return types that they will use static they also use void when you say void no need for you to put a return statement so return uh, return statement it's no need if you will use a void in the return type okay so basically if we will talk about the return type um, it will uh, there are some problems or there are some programs that you can reuse your codes and there are also some problems that you need to return a value okay because um, um, so that um, that value will be passed on to the other methods or it, to, it will be passed on to the main method okay i know that it's quite uh, unclear because we are only discussing this one as uh, we are only discussing this one without any codes right now uh, in our uh, in our next discussion or in our next video uh, I will show you how to use the return type um, with or um, demonstrating in our um, using codes okay one moment so this is the time where we will call a method so in calling a method again this is our um, this is our method here this one okay so in calling a method, each time a method it's called, the values of the actual arguments in the invocation are assigned to the formal arguments. So basically, for example, if the user inputted 2, the 2 will be inserted to num1. If the user inputted 3, the, um, the 3 will be inserted to num2. Then after, after that, um, after that operation inserted to our method or to our parameter list, um, the values for num1 and also the num2 will be used here. Okay? So once we already got the value or the result for our min value, that is where we will now return it. That is where um, the purpose of the return statement because basically it will return the mean value and for example this will be um, passed through the main or the void main 
Okay? I will show you later on. Okay. So let's proceed right now to our, pro uh, to our problem number one. I know that you can see all of the codes here already, but I will show you how to do it in IntelliJ. So basically, the purpose of this code is to um, add um, um, to add number or add two values. I actually use a sum method. I created a sum method method, and also I created an object, and I let the user input something. So let's do it. So IntelliJ first. So, one moment, Java methods. Okay, let me create a new project. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. Java method 2. I'm creating a package. After creating a package, this is the time where I will create a class so in creating a class um, for example the purpose of this is some method some method no um, method example one okay this is the, my class name under the method java method 2 package so let me make it larger okay here um, since I will be asking the user to input something, of course, I need to import um, the java.util. Okay. After importing the java.util, um, of course, oh, we should have our public static void main. Then string args. But we will be inserting um, that... Um, all of the expressions here in our main method later on. Let me create first um, our method or our um, user-defined method. So our user-defined method, I will make it public, meaning it can be accessible from any other methods or from main or going to the other uh, methods. So int after the int which is the return type i will create right now a sum method okay there you go so here this is the time where i will um put the um i will put all of the parameters needed since I'll be asking only two inputs from the user and it will be passed through to the main page or to the main method. Um, I will let the user input something, then the sum should be here, A plus B. Then we need to return the sum. Okay. Okay. After that one, after returning the sum, this is where Mm -hmm. One moment. This is already good, but okay, let me do it here. Okay, next one. Uh, we will now um, create or um, encode our code for. Um, scanner where the user will input something the new scanner on system dot in after that one uh, i will now use this method to create an object i will create this uh, i will name this object as object um, one then new method that one so basically, so basically, um, I know that I already created an object for the scanner. I also created an object for the method number one. Okay. So after creating an object for method number one, uh, I will now let the user input something. 
So uh, print enter first value. So after that one, I forgot that I need to um, to add or create variables. So num one, num two, then sum equals to zero. So num one should be input dot next in. Okay, then I'll just would like to copy all of that. Then I'll change this one to second value, then num2. Okay, so after that one, um, the result here, basically, I'm sorry, um, the sum here, no, I'm using already sum here, so I think it's better to put result na lang. Okay, the result here uh, will call the object 1 that contains the method example one then i will be inserting the num one here so that it will be passed through sorry so that it will be passed through the sum method there you go again um I, since I already created a variable um, result 0 here, the purpose of this line of code 19, it's to um, pass the num1, which is the first value inputted by the user, and also the num2, which is the second value inputted by the user. This will be passed through the sum method, okay? So if it will be passing through to the sum method, basically it will go up, then sum method here, the num1 will become the A, the num2 will become the B. Okay, so after that, since I'm done um, with the line code number 19, I will proceed in calling the result or calling the, the print ln. One moment. I need to sum of two values is I will call the result because basically um, once the user inputted a value for first and the second number, of course it will be stored in the num two by the use of the object one. Um, the inputted values will be passed through to the sum method then it will be inserted in the a because in the a and also in the b it will be used here inside the int sum then once the um, once the program already calculated the sum of the a and also the b it will return a value after returning the value basically the return sum value here it will be inserted in the result in which the result here on the last line of code which is the line of co line code on 20 it will be displayed okay so let me try to run it one moment so after running this code for example 23 then 7 so the result is 30. Am I right? Are we all getting it? Good job. So let's proceed to our, sorry. Uh, we will proceed to our next example. Um, for this one, it's still the same, but uh, we are only using a one parameter list, okay? But for this one, uh, we will let the user input a number then this number it will be square root okay so let's proceed to IntelliJ sorry I will create another class so this class will be method example 2 okay it would still be the same just like what we did earlier we need to import um, java.util Oh, sorry. After importing that, uh, we will now put the public static void main. 
string args okay and as well i need to create my new method um, int still after using int um, since square root it's we need to have a whole number right or basically uh, after this we can create our name square root there then int num one moment let me there you go so i need to return the num multiply it by num or if you want we can actually do something like this um, int um, result um, equals num um, multiply it by num and here all we need to do is to return the result like that one okay next since i'm done creating my method for square root i need to of course use the scanner again new scanner system that in next i'll be creating an object again um, object number two there then method there you go so i will now um, declare i oh, sorry um, i will now um, initialize a variables um, a variable one or num one and also thus um, i will square square value there which is zero for now okay next system that out dot print ln sorry print enter a value next after entering a value it will be temporarily stored to num1 okay after that um, i will now call it the object sorry square result um square value square value then i will call the object two dot then the method name square root then i will be inserting the num1 here inside so that after that one i will be calling the num1 um, the squared value is i'll be calling the sorry I'm, i i will not be calling the num1 but i'll be calling the square value okay again i will explain the code so i created a square root method the purpose of this it's to of course to um, to multiply um, to multiply the number by itself so by asking a value from the user so for example the user inputted two so the two it will be temporarily stored in the num one then after that um, i let the object number two transferred the value two which is the num1 in the square root method so the two here it will be stored in the num then the num or two times two the result will be stored in the result then the result it will be passed through it will return the value and it will be directed to the square value here then in our line code number six, um, 16 i actually called the value squared value okay so let me run the program so for example i would like to input uh, uh, one moment i would like to input 10 so basically 10 times 10 100 there you go okay hopefully you have learned a lot with our two examples um, hopefully you were able to understand um, the passing through of values um, the returning of values from one method to another method and how to um, use or and how to declare on how to create an object 